about 20 minutes into the flight, um, I hear a loud boom. And as you can imagine, everyone on the plane was kind of zoned out and doing their own thing, and you hear this boom. And I think everybody's immediate thoughts were, did you just hear that? You know? And then uh, we felt a, a, a shaking. And then a few moments later, the oxygen masks deploy across the entire cabin. Then I started things, uh, seeing things kind of blown out the window. And as you could probably imagine, uh, panic ensued, um, especially amongst the passengers. Um, as they were taking care of her and uh, uh, the nurse was doing CPR, this guy puts himself in front of that hole. And, um, and the hole wasn't that, it wasn't, you know, massive. It was just, you know, it's still a big hole. But putting himself in, in that position so that it, it, the, the wind wouldn't be so violent and, and, and that that woman could be cared for a little bit more. And I, I, I distinctly remember his hands being, like, very bloodied. Um, and I couldn't tell if it was the woman. Um, who was bleeding, or if it was him bleeding from all the broken glass. Uh, the, the crew, or the passengers and people around him are literally are pulling her back into the plane um, as uh, in an effort to not have her fly out. I'm frantically just typing, um, you know, uh, flights going down Dallas to New York City. Um, there's been an explosion. I don't know what's happening. And I, I haven't even gone back to the video to see the words um, that I was um, saying and what I was trying to get out. I do know that I was misspelling everything uh, just in an effort to get some communication out there. The most important thing was me uh, for me to um, reach out to like my family and, and the people I love. Um, just the thought of not being able to do that, you know. Um, uh, was just like a very like gut wrenching, um, gut wrenching feeling.